How you feeling? I feel great. <laughs> I feel great. That's a big win right there. Stanford's got a great football team. Um, like I said early in the week, they're the hottest football team in the country right now. So really proud of our kids, um, our coaching staff, the preparation that we put in to come in here and the belief and confidence we had in each other. I couldn't be prouder of a group of kids. What went into the decision to take a knee on third down and set up the field goal as opposed to trying well, to I wanted down? to make sure that they were going to use all their timeouts. I didn't want to risk anything, any ball getting on the ground. I uh, wanted to make sure it was a touchdown game. And um, they used their last time out. And, you know, I, I just didn't want to risk anything. I wanted to make sure the ball, we could guarantee it was right in the middle of the field. And that's the only way we could guarantee that. Were you second guessing yourself at all when they get the ball down to the 13 and can beat you with a touchdown? No. I mean, it, it was, they had to score a touchdown. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you can always second guess yourself. There was still a lot of time left. We could have. We could have had got the ball back and taken it right back on them, you know. So um, it was just a, a decision that I did not want to have anything happen with the ball getting on the ground or us not being in the middle of the field. I want to make sure we were in the middle of the field. Yeah, 42 carries for Shane tonight. Can you talk about the load he carries enough for the offense? Yeah, you know, I didn't even realize he had 42 carries, but uh, he's a workhorse. He's a great kid. Uh, he deserves everything. He deserves a lot of credit because that guy, he's been the backup. He's so unselfish. And to see the, the way he's performed the last two weeks has been awesome. really opened up some holes in you running in. They really did. You know, all, all week long, all the talk was how physical they are and how they're going to run this and things like that. And our big motto coming in this week is we're going to find out who's physical. Jeff, you had a ball game tonight where Kevin Riley throws an interception, then you score in your next four possessions. What was the turnaround point after that? Can you talk about that a little bit? After the interception? Yeah, after the interception, you scored four straight. Well, it was... You know, we came out after half time, after half time and, and I thought we had a lot of momentum uh, going in at halftime. And, uh, you know, that he was pressured a little bit, tried to hit Shane, he just barely overthrew him. And, you know, he didn't, it wasn't a short pass, he overthrew the, the guy underneath, he ended up overthrew Shane. Uh, but he, he kept his confidence, we were behind him 100%, and we came into this locker room at halftime knowing that, that uh, you know, we, we felt good about the second half and about our chances and about how we were playing. And so there was a lot of confidence at halftime. Well, I, I thought we covered well in the secondary. Um, we are running with their guys, and, and he pulled it down and made some plays with his legs. He's a great quarterback. I mean, the poise that he, that he has for a young guy is so impressive. And he can throw it, he can run it, he can make him miss. He's a really, really good player. And so, you know, you have to give our kids credit for, for covering long enough to make him pull it down. After the final field goal, did you give any thought to kick him deep rather than giving them a somewhat shorter field goal? Well, we, did, we felt like we would get the ball back to him on a squib kick. And um, we didn't want to kick it deep and give him a chance to return it on us. Um, felt like we would get it by the up back, but the up back grabbed it and got out to the 42 yard line, which is not the way it was planned. So you're talking about your team's composure after getting down 14 zip to start off? Yeah, I mean, the, the, you know, this team is like that. This team has, has confidence in themselves and belief in themselves. You know, when we lost two games early, you know, the people we could depend on were ourselves. The kids in that locker room, the coaches together, that's who we depended on. And that's the way they've been all year long. And a couple of weeks, they found a way to win. And uh, it has a lot to do with belief and trust in one another. And when we were down 14, no one was batting the eye. Where does this big game rank for you and the ones you've coached in? Oh, shoot. I mean, it's it's right there at the top. I'm proud of every team that we've had that has that has retained the ax. Um, this one tonight, though, I think, you know, like I said, Stanford was the hottest team in the country coming into this game. You have to give them a lot of credit. But for our kids to, to rise to the occasion and do this at their place was a huge victory. And, um, you know, I think the one our very first year was pretty big, too, mm -hmm. who won the first one. But... Um, but this one ranks right up there. What was the key to sustaining those offensive drives that you guys had? You guys put together some long drives. Yeah, I thought like... in the second half, we, you know, the first drive coming out, I think, was like a 92 yard drive or something like that. And, um, you know, it was mix it up really well. I thought Coach Leder did a great job of calling plays, mix it up with the run and the pass, and didn't get in a lot of long, you know, third and long situations, which is key always. But we converted a lot of third downs as well. I, th I don't know. I think we converted four in a row or something like that at one stretch in the second half. But, uh, you know, that, that was big. I, I thought our offensive line, our tight ends and fullbacks really played well as far as blocking in the run game. And Shane ran really hard, obviously.